Hello and welcome back to Infinite Remote Control. I'm John and in this video I'm going to basically be talking about our first experience with the Hobby King ST360 quadcopter. Now our setup is a 20 amp Q brain uh, along with the stock motors, stock everything else um, and the KK2 board flashed with 1.6 software and here we're using the Hobby King HK6S radio, it's FHSS and has 6 channels. Um, one important thing to point out is setting up the Q-Brain, you have to have power going to motor 1 on the KK2 and the only uh, the only ESC in the Q-Brain that puts out a VEC is motor 3. So we kind of had to resituate that and that might have been part of our problem. Also, when using the Turnigy 2200 mAh 3S LiPo, it actually would rub so we built up these blocks right here um, so that it would sit properly. Now to start off, the first time that we ever flew it, it kind of came up and again this KK2 was set uh, for a F450. It would come out, fly like this for about 5 seconds and then go like that, flip itself over and uh, it was a horrible experience. So then we ended up just starting from square one, um, tried out DJI motors, they didn't work great but they did help just a little and uh, we reset all of the gains, factory reset it, and it was actually able to come up, up into the air and um, we adjusted the gains just a little bit and only flew manually and we were able to get a fairly consistent flight with this quad on manual but it would sometimes completely lose control. Then whenever you try to put it into autopilot, we finally got it so that it would level itself out properly but the moment that you would be tilting it just a little bit too much and you got a little bit too much speed, it would flip itself over or whenever you got too much speed and then you tried to pull back, nope, it would flip itself over again. So we're still trying to cope with the problem. So basically, long story short, we can't get it dialed in properly. We've tried everything that we can and we think that it boils down basically to these motors. So here are the upgrades. Da -da -da -da. We have 1000 kV motors from NTM. These are fairly similar to DJI. They're some of the higher quality motors that Hobby King sells. I believe that they were about $15 each in the US warehouse and these prop accessories which you will have to get uh, also cost $2. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. And that's just going to allow you to run a prop uh, just basically right off of friction. Then um, we figured well let's just try uh, with the propellers from square one. So here are some propellers from uh, Turnigy. They are the 8045 reverse ones. We already have the normal ones. Again, here are two more accessory packs. So, um, again, like I said, if you've been having some problems getting this dialed in, or if you think that you know the motors may be a problem, uh, stay tuned on this channel. And the next video that you see on your screen right now will link you to the follow-up of with all these upgrades on it and if we ever did get it flying.